HPE Discover 2019 is done. It was nothing like I expected. It was so much more. It is time to wrap it all up now. HPE Discover 2019 was full of super interesting stuff. For me personally, it was an honor to be invited to the event as a blogger, HPE influencer, and being part of a super exclusive worldwide group of influencers, bloggers, YouTubers, vloggers. I learned so much, I gained tons of new friends, I uh, can't wait to meet all of them again. So that was one of the highlights of the whole event for me. The other thing that was extremely interesting for me was obviously all the announcements that HP made. HP made tons of new announcements, especially in the area of uh, intelligent data platform and storage. I'm not gonna even try to fit all of those in this short video. Instead, I'm gonna concentrate on two of them. Everything around SimpliVity, and Green Lake. So those two topics were the most interesting to me and lots of new stuff coming around those two products and services. So let's get into it right now. They made not one, not two, but three huge announcements around SimpliVity. Already before Discover, they released a new node, which was SimpliVity 380 Gen 10 G model, which is a software optimized node for those environments who don't require the hardware uh, accelerator card, that would be quite optimal. But now in Discover, the, maybe the biggest announcement for me was InfoSight support. Now officially all SimpliVity nodes existing and the new uh, customers will be enjoying the benefits of InfoSight that so far has been a privilege for uh, Nimble, 3PAR and uh, just standard Polyant customers but now SimpliVity customers can start enjoying that as well. And this is going to be a huge competitive advantage uh, for SimpliVity competing against the likes of Nutanix or VxRail or Hyperflex, you name it. They don't have anything that comes even close to this. Another one will be the high density AMD based node, SimpliVity 325. This AMD node will be based on AMD's EPIC architecture and it is targeted mainly on Edge, SMB, Robo environments. The uh, third announcement around SimpliVity is the SimpliVity 380 backup and archival node. And this is an interesting one. This is a first of a kind. This is the first hybrid node in SimpliVity family. So now we have four terabyte HDDs combined with SSDs in the same node. All the same SimpliVity features as we are used to in any other node, but now we just have bigger capacity on those HDDs and still the SSD layer there to support your more demanding workload. So this is extremely in interesting. SimpliVity clearly is HPE's spearhead product when it comes to hyperconvergence. There's no doubt about it. As much as I love everything around SimpliVity, it was actually HP GreenLake that stole my complete attention in, in the Discover event. Just like Scott Lau said in the interview with Keith Townsend from CTO Advisor, link to the interview up here, uh, he said that this is what private cloud should have been. And that could not be more spot on. Just like I explained the, the advantages of private cloud compared to the public cloud in my previous video, private cloud combines the best of the on-prem world with the easiness and simplicity of the public cloud. So the cloud experience together with the performance advantages, the security and advantages of the, of the on-prem environment. But up until now, this has been somewhat of a utopia. So you don't have all the components to actually create the cloud experience, the easiness, the worry-free operation, lifecycle management, all that that is 
outsourced to somebody else in the public cloud environment. You, it, it has not been that easy to, to create in private cloud environments. The idea is extremely nice, implementation uh, not so much. But with HPE GreenLake, you don't have to worry about any of the hardware stuff. That is completely being taken care of HPE or HPE's partner. They will bring the hardware to your on-prem environment, install it, maintain it, all you have to do is use the applications, very much like in the public cloud, with the advantages, as I mentioned, of the on-prem environment. So the big announcements around GreenLake were, number one, Antonio Neri mentioned in his keynote speech that by 2022, that's in three years, the whole HPE portfolio, whether it's software, hardware or services, will be available through GreenLake. And this is huge news. They actually started the expanding already uh, on this cover by announcing the support for Aruba portfolio. So Aruba is now officially a part of GreenLake offering. And obviously they will not stop there, but they will expand aggressively throughout the portfolio to finally uh, offer everything in the, in the uh, portfolio through GreenLake. Coming from a small country of Finland, I know for a fact that there are tons of small companies that would be very happy to take a consumption-based IT model like GreenLake into use like immediately. But up until now, it hasn't been too easy to do that because for example, GreenLake has been designed to start with a bit larger companies. But now I discovered they announced intentions to support smaller countries and companies a bit more. They call this GreenLake for meat market, which includes quick quotation tools. It includes ready-made packages around different hardware, software offerings, etc., etc., to make it just easier for smaller companies to take GreenLake into use and easier for partners to sell it. Even though the announcements around SimpliVity and GreenLake were the most interesting ones for me, I think the biggest announcement for HPE was their new mission critical storage array box called HPE Primera. It promises a lot. It, it, it honestly promises scaringly a lot. It promises 100% availability. Yeah, 100, no nines anymore. 100% guaranteed availability. It is built to be massively parallel with all active components. It has a service and workload centric operating system, easy to upgrade, easy to maintain. It has a built-in AI engine, just to name a few. Super interesting stuff. I will be definitely making another dedicated video about Primera uh, later on. The other one that was let's say rather interesting, was the Nimble Storage DHCI. D standing for disaggregated. I don't know what to think about this. Um, it seems like it's a little bit stepping on my SimpliVity toe. So that's why I need some time to process this. But it has some very, very interesting uh, elements to it. Uh, the, the biggest reason for its existence is the independent scalability of compute and storage resources with the easiness of hyperconvergence. So we'll see. So that was just a quick summary of Discover 2019. More videos about individual products for sure to follow. So keep subscribing, keep watching, and if you liked it, like. Until the next time.